China rally based in the city of Longyu, 400 kilometers from Shanghai, is the seventh and final round of the 2006 Asia Pacific Rally Championship. The addition of a large international field that competes in the China Rally Championship means that an outright winner is difficult to predict. For young Australian Eli Evans, China Rally is his fifth totally new event for the season and one where he hopes he can reverse a run of retirements. It's been a massive learning experience still in the Asia Pacific Championship. Um, the learning curve that I've gone through this year has been a lot bigger if I had just done my national series. So I think um, yeah, through the year I'm a lot better driver than I was at the start of the year, there's no doubt about it. We've had, had a bit of bad luck in the last two rounds, so uh, one of them was a, a little bit of a driver error, but um, yeah, mechanical dramas in Indonesia sort of stopped us from getting a good result. But um, yeah, we're back and the car's ready, so we're going to go out there and just give it another shot. Finnish driver Jarko Mietinen won the last round of the Chinese National Championship, but his Asia-Pacific campaign hasn't been as successful. The start was catastrophic, uh, had accidents and uh, small car failure. So uh, when we went to Japan, we didn't have any points. And then we had a new car in Japan. So uh, since then it's been better, but not easy. But a lot of new experiences, very, very interesting and a nice year for me. We are heading for the, try to get the third place. That's re realistic if we uh, can make our own, own results here. So, uh, but the conditions are, are difficult and I first have to get used to the roads and the, how the grip is here. Australian Cody Crocker is here to win the Asia Pacific title but also wants to make it six wins in a row. It, it's going to be a tough event and, and there's a, a huge range of talent here you know from the Chinese competitors in their own championship and their home event sort of thing uh, to the nationals doing the China, the internationals doing the Chinese championship to us APRC guys so it's a, it's a fantastic field and I expect a lot of you know, different stage times from probably up to eight or ten drivers and, and that'll make it for a fantastic event. And just hope at the end of it we're on the top. Although Crocker and navigator Ben Atkinson have enough points to win the titles, the rules state that each competitor must start six of the seven rounds to qualify for series points. Therefore it's a mere formality that sees the pair start Rally China. Congratulations. <laughs> And that's enough for both to become the Asia-Pacific Drivers and Co-Drivers Champions. With the title battle won by Crocker, the spots to watch are second and third. The runner-up spot currently held by Mitsubishi driver Katsu Taguchi. Behind him, just three points separate Hiroshi Yanagasawa, Rifat Sunka and Yaka Mietinen. We do our maximum because, as you know, in the championship, the third, fourth, fifth position is only one point uh, separate, so it will be tough. The event starts with a super special. Crocker and Taguchi are first up. The only chance the drivers oh, yeah. have to race side by side against each other. Flippy three right narrow into one right. As predicted, 70. the conditions are extremely tricky. Yeah, and rough, it's a close race to the finish. Right long into finish. Finish. 151. That was all right. Sunkar and Yanagasawa are away next. Both drivers push hard in the mud, with Sunkar coming out slightly ahead. Then, just as the cars cross the finish line, a baseball-sized rock is flung up by Sunkar, smashing into Yanagasawa's windscreen. Thankfully, with no serious damage. In the rally proper, Crocker quickly establishes himself as the driver to beat, leading the event throughout the first day, winning both stages 40, run in atrocious conditions. Three right, two fifty. Meetinen is second in the APRC, followed by his Mitsubishi teammate Taguchi. Australian driver Eli Evans holds fourth. 
and Cusco Subaru driver Hiroshi Yanagasawa fifth, having a cautious start. At the end of the first day, Crocker is leading the event outright and is pleased the pressure is off. He and Atkinson are the champions and now he can get on with winning China Rally. It's pretty exciting to uh, go over a start ramp and be, be crowned the champion, so we're absolutely wrapped with that. Congratulated Ben and after we ran over the ramp, nearly drove through the next control, <laughs> but it's all okay. So yeah, no, really, really happy with that and I think probably lifted a bit of a load off, so we had a bit of fun in those two stages. So what's the, the single biggest factor you think that uh, contributed to basically five wins on the trot and the championship? Yeah, it's a hard one to pick, I guess, sort of, uh, not trying to uh, beat my own drum, but I guess maybe the experience that I'm getting now gives me a bit more consistency. I think a few of the younger guys sort of were very fast at times, but then you know had some offs and moments and whatever else. So I think, but, but also we've had such a great car this year. I, I can't single it down to one thing, but obviously the guys have maintained the car perfectly. We, we've had no mechanical trouble whatsoever, so we've got to be happy with that. And the only problem I think we had was was the airfield got a bit blocked with all the, the mud and dust in Indonesia. But uh, that's that's about it. You know, you can't really. Uh, <laughs> I quit that, but uh, otherwise, yeah, we had a great run. Yeah, it's been great for Subaru, for Cody, um, for myself. I mean, I've done the Asia Pacific a couple of times before, but that was in a two-wheel drive. To be in an outright car is fantastic, and um, I think it's just all really gelled for the year. The new team and um, new pairing with Cody and myself, it just all seemed to work. Do you think that uh, past experience in the Asia Pacific helped uh, for you, you know, this year? It definitely helps. I mean, like this event I've done before, um, others I've done before and it just makes it easy because you know what to expect. A lot of cultural things make the Asia Pacific quite a challenge to deal with traffic and just different languages and things like that rather than doing a national championship. Leg one continues the following morning in the high mountains south of Longview with the weather no better. As we see from Yanagasawa's onboard camera, Taguchi is immediately in trouble. Retiring with suspension damage. Crocker continues to push on in the difficult conditions, but being first on the road, he does have the best of the conditions. Meetonen has a puncture on SS5 and then loses more time later with a high speed spin. Eli Evans damages his suspension on the same stage, but keeps it together to make it back to service for repairs. <laughs> New Zealand driver Dermot Malley in a Wan Yu rally team Mitsubishi is using his years of experience to handle the horrible conditions, but retires near the end of the leg with diff problems. Fellow New Zealander Brian Green has several car problems during the day, including a puncture, but does make it to the end of the leg. The mud in the final stages of the day is treacherous, and Evans has a slight off, but does go on to finish the leg in fourth. Meaton and pushing hard to make up for time lost earlier, also goes off in the mud but keeps the boot in to regain the road and hold on to his third spot in APRC. As he has all championship long, Yanagasawa stays out of trouble and moves up the leaderboard to end leg one in second spot in the APRC and third overall. He also picks up two very valuable bonus points in the driver's fight. Cody Crocker drives faultlessly through the day to lead the event and the APRC at the end of the leg. It started off as pretty bad mush and then it just got worse from there. It was uh, pretty, pretty incredible, but I guess, yeah, when it's, when it's this type of condition, you, the first car on the road generally has the best, best conditions and then it gets worse from there and then obviously second and third pass it's just atrocious and we actually had to cancel that 10, the last 10 k's of the, one of the middle stages just because it's, it was so diabolical it was just really difficult to drive and, and you wouldn't be able to get an FIV vehicle in there at all or anything like that if something did go wrong so really for safety, safety's sake it was probably the best decision.
Next day, the weather improves, and both Sea drivers throw caution to the wind. Danger 10 crest jump 200. Flying high over one of the many jumps on stage 13. Yeah, slow. Oh, yeah, slow jump, slow 74 left, easy. Behind the leading duo, both Meetanen and Evans retire on the first stage of leg two, promoting Indonesia's Rifat Sunkar to third. Brian Green moves his Mitsubishi up to fourth spot. One of the real tests of the China rally is the mountain stage San Men Wan that the drivers tackle three times. With over 40 hairpins and run at high altitude, it's a tough final stage for the four remaining APRC drivers. Yanagasawa holds it together to finish second in the APAC and gains enough points to take second position in the driver's title race. Thank you, I've never uh, dreamed on the APRC uh, championship the second place. Uh, 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 the, everything happened. That's right. Uh, uh, I'm very happy uh, to get this uh, APR the second position. Yeah. On his first attempt at the Asia Pacific Rally Championship, Indonesian driver Sunkar finishes third APRC driver in China and flies the flag for Mitsubishi. The young Indonesian has finished three times on the podium this year. We never expect that we can have a, this good result because we are thinking about uh, the target will be the seven overall in the first year, but we don't know we got the three podiums in 2006, so it is. I think it's such a wonderful uh, result for us. And Subaru rally driver Cody Crocker has shown why he is the 2006 Asia Pacific champion winning his sixth event of the season, typically with hardly a scratch on the car and after 250 right kilometres of one of the toughest events on the into championship. Sixth left. In the sixth left, 100, finish. Oh, oh. 1847. I reckon this is probably the most difficult event we've done this year. I mean, every every event we went to, I think we you probably got me on record saying, yeah, this is the most difficult, but this the, the, the rain just made things diabolical and incredibly slippery. And uh, I haven't really counted, but there's at least 40 to 50 hairpins, you know, in the in some of these stages and just on the handbrake all the time. And it's definitely the, the lowest average speed stage is around 50 kilometres an hour. So first and second gear and up the hill and left, right, left hairpins, one after the other. and you, it never ends, and, and the altitude was quite high as well on some stages. You just climb up and up and up. So a well-satisfied Aussie pair celebrate on top of the podium after a totally dominant season. The final points show that Crocker was in a class of his own, scoring 94 points out of a possible 96. Yanagasawa pipped Taguchi for second, and Sunka takes fourth. In the co-driver's title contest, Ben Atkinson easily heads Mark Stacey.